What's up, sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed evening to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, so we're going to be talking some IPL. We see where another West Indies player was able to stand tall today. We're talking about none other than our white ball vice captain, Mr. Nicholas Puran, Nicky P. He was able to have a good outing today and basically guided his team across the line. So shout out to Nicky P. We're going to be talking about that innings. And there's a big question. Did a drunken West Indies player hang Chahal outside of a 15 floor story window? Hmm. We're going to talk about that. Hit that subscribe button while you are waiting, my viewers and subscribers. Leave a like and also drop a comment. So, yeah, man. To the IPL first. So, another uh, stand standout performance from one of our players. Or one of our players over there in the IPL, Nicholas Sporan. He was able to stay at the crease and see things through to the end. As the Sunrise of Hyderabad were able to pull off a victory. So, very good, my viewers and subscribers, you know. He was able to guide his team across the line. He actually got 34 from 18 deliveries. Yeah, good, good hitting, you know. Not a half century, but 34 from 18. Very good. Based on what was required, you know, he stayed at the crease. He didn't just try and get some quick runs and got out. He stayed at the crease and saw the team across the line. So, 34 from 18 with two sixes and two fours in the mix. A strike rate of 188.89 for our vice captain. You know, very good, very good sign. Very good sign to see, you know, Nicholas Poor and getting some runs. We are always happy to see our youngsters. Um, well, we can't, shouldn't even be calling Nicholas Poor and any youngster anymore now because he's established now. Uh, very good when we see our players over there in the IPL um, dominating and taking the headlines. That is what we want. We go over there to participate in their tournament. But we want to stand out because we say that we are known as T20 Masters. And, you know, it was very good to see uh, Mr. Mr. Nicholas Puran doing his thing today. You know, um, so, yeah, the Sunrise of Hyderabad, you know, they were able to get, uh, you know, the victory courtesy of Puran seeing things through to the end. It's not like Nicholas Puran alone did it, you know, so I'm going to give you guys a general um Recap of how the game went. So uh, the Titans, they batted first and got 162 for 7. Yeah, man, 162 for 7. Uh, Captain Pandya, he had 50 of 42. You know, he, he tried his best, but he wasn't able to score at a rapid rate as he, you know, he's used to, used to um, as we would have become accustomed to him doing. So he had 50 of 42. So that was the captain, um, Pandya, doing his thing. Then, um... You know, we had uh, Romara Shepard. I didn't even remember. Romara Shepard did not play in that game of viewers and subscribers. So that is something, you know, another West Indian player getting getting benched. So the Sunrise of Hyderabad in chasing that down. They got off to a pretty good start. You know, Kane Williamson, the captain, he he actually, you know, he, he, he did well. Williamson got, um, Williamson, Williamson, I think Williamson got a half century. Sharma had 42 of 32, but there was still work to be done. Yeah, man, Williamson 57 came off 46 deliveries. But after those guys got those runs out of the way, work was still left there. And in came the Trinidadian Nicholas Puran, and he was able to shepherd them and carry them across the line. You know, he was very calm, very cool and collective, as well, as we like to say. And, you know, he, 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 he batted with maturity. You know, he looked ashore. I mean, when he just went out there, I'm almost certain that he, he almost got dismissed off the first delivery. <laughs> but he was able to settle down and um, carry them across the line. You know, so very good. 34 off 18, as I said, with two sixes and two fours in the mix. Happy to see him getting amongst the runs. You know, so yesterday we had Shemran Hetzmeyer um, getting some runs. And today we had Nicholas Puran. So two of our our players that we are expecting to play a very important um, role in West Indies uh, white ball setup in the near future. We're able to get um, runs. So shout out to them. And I am hoping it will con it will continue. You know, it's, I think it's the second time that he's getting in the 30s. And um, I am hoping that this sort of form will continue as he look to improve in the IPL. No, yeah, that is basically it where the IPL is concerned, my viewers and subscribers. So I, I have a little story here to share with you guys. It was actually published 
a couple of days ago, but I, you know, I didn't get a chance to talk about it. And I am going to have to be very cryptic where this is concerned because it has a lot to do with abuse and, you know, some sort of things in there that YouTube isn't too fond of, of, of certain words. Now, big reports coming out um, is that a player, you know, a, a player that was drunk actually did something a couple of years ago to Chahal that, you know, you, you definitely would want that to happen. And according to Chahal, you know, the player actually hung him outside of a 15 floor, um, outside the 15 floor, outside the, the, the balcony, basically, you know, was, was, was had him dangling outside. And it's not the first time he's talking about it. And um, he didn't call any name. He didn't call any name. I must say that there is a lot of speculations going on in the uh, on social media. A lot of persons going underneath the post and talking and, and, and guessing a few way up as the West Indian player's name being called also. But I, I won't get into that. I won't get into that at all. He was actually speaking speaking on a podcast and he opened up about um you know the sort of bully business that he faced off the field and you know physical abuse and all of that. You know, um I think it was 2013 he said that when he was just still trying to break his way in as a newcomer. Remember now he was a part of the Mumbai Indian squad. You understand? He was a part of the Mumbai Indian squad. So he said there was a game. And after the game, you know, all the players got together. So I, I assume the Mumbai Indian players and um, probably the other players from the next team got together, you know, after the match. And, you know, um, that is how it happened. One player actually apparently had too much to drink, had too much to drink and, you know, took him up. According to him, the player took him outside, actually brought him outside and had him hanging outside the, the, the you know the balcony if you're talking about 15 floors 15 stories up had him just dangling dangling like that as i say i don't know if i'm being too cryptic i don't um i don't know if i'm i'm being too too blunt with it if youtube will will, will will block the video or whatever but um you know very very sad to see this very sad to see this and you know according to him the play he, he had to be holding around the player's neck and you know he was holding on for dear life and you know he was saying you know he was really afraid and if he had slipped any at all or if the player had made any sort of mistake then you know he would have probably fallen fallen from from there um he said that you know a few other persons that were at the party noticed what was happening came in and you know was able to settle the situation you know so uh, you're rough my viewers and subscribers you're rough um according to him he actually fainted and they had to give him water and all sort of things to bring him back. Can I imagine as a youngster, not even if you are not a youngster, if you are a big person and a man take you up and have you dangling outside the outside the roof, outside the, the balcony, that cannot be a nice feeling. Definitely can't be a nice feeling. It might be fun and joy for them and, and, and thinking about definitely not a nice feeling. You know, um you know, so so as we say if there was he any sort of slight mistake as it relates to the player slipping or anything you know probably we wouldn't hear of Chahal taking so many wickets in the IPL these days and, and doing well for India and all of that and I think that was in 2013 he also spoke about in 2011 you know when um he, he, he two of his teammates this time he called name I think he said James Franklin and Andrew Simons I think that would be the, the Australian um you know two players two of his teammates uh, actually tied him up tied him up you know uh, during a party a lot of them got got wasted tied him up and basically taped his mouth tied him up and he actually stayed there overnight and it was when it was actually when somebody came in to do some cleaning in the morning they found him and you know um they, they, they called in some other people and things so as i said um he said it was just after Mumbai Indians actually won the, the, the championship. I think that would have been in 2011 and some of the guys had um, some juice and things. So I tell you, it's, it's really serious. It's not the first time he's talking about it, as I said. You know, he would have spoken up. I think this is the second time he's speaking about it since um, this year. Um, he, as it relates to the player that dangled him outside the, the, the balcony, he, he hasn't called any name. But as I said, you know, people are speculating on social media. I see some people calling some Indian people, some people calling people from Australia. I see people talking about West Indian players. 
you know, more than one. Uh, West Indian name was called. Yeah, you know, so um, as I said, I, I the, the video is there. So, you know, he didn't call anybody names. So I'm not going to speculate and say who I think the West Indian player is that actually dangled him um, out. You know, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a, a couple of years, well, maybe about nine years now since that would have happened, I guess. And, you know, it's, you know, I don't know if he's just getting the strength to talk about it or what. Or, you know, I don't know. But sometimes when you're going to some of these teams as a youngster, you know, there are certain cronies him or certain squad and you know certain certain thing inside that inner circle that caused problem and thing like that so maybe he didn't even he was what he was even thinking that these guys can derail his his career if he if he actually come out and say anything but as i said the story is out there the story is there you can you can probably have a listen to it or have a read it's definitely not good definitely not good and i am really saddened to hear that as a matter of fact I, I wouldn't even say I'm saddened to hear that West Indian names are being called because he didn't call anybody name. It's just fans typing on and eat the, the, the video and talking all sort of things. So we don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to spend some time and give you that story. I know it's sort of long and drawn out, but I just wanted to share it with you. I'm going to leave it right there for now, my peeps. Big up on yourselves. Zane, I'm out.